Hello guys, and this is Quaker from Gridit, and this is going to be a live demonstration on how to use Logo Grid Generator version 1. So here we have our logo design on an artboard, and what we want to do is select the logo, but before you select, you want to make sure that the logo is united. So select the logo, click select unite, and when you click unite, that just ensures that nothing weird will happen, so all the shapes are one. So then you simply just select generate all and instantly you see this beautiful grid. You have anchors, handles, outlines and grid lines. Because you didn't select each component, everything um, generates. So generating all just selects all the buttons um, automatically and generates the grid. Now to customize the grid, you can see you have the layers panel and each grid component is generated on a separate layer. So for example, if you wanted to customize the anchors, we can simply select target and selecting target just selects all the anchor points. And if you wanted to change the color, you can just go down to the color panel and select green, for example, for the fill. And to change the stroke, we can simply select another color. So you can do this for every layer, anchors, handles, grid lines and outlines. For grid lines, you can't change the fill because it's only a path, so you can only customize the stroke. In terms of anchors or handles, so for this case, we're just going to use anchors. If you want to change the size of anchors using Logo Grid Generator version 1, you can simply go to Object, Transform, Transform Each, and then this panel opens, and then hopefully this should be, it should look like this, but if not, you can just simply click it. And all you have to do is go up or down, on the slider and it adjusts the anchors, the size of the anchors. This is very useful because it adjusts from the center of the, anch of the anchors or the handles and not just like on the edges. So this is the method you want to use to increase and decrease the sizes. So now moving on to this example. So for example, we're not going to use generate all for this. We're just going to generate. So to do this, we're going to select the grid component. So let's say handles, outlines, and grid lines, and then simply select generate. And then you can see this beautiful grid. We have perfect grid lines, um, horizontal and vertical with some clean looking handles. Now moving on to the final example. To use this extension to spot errors um, is a game changer. So the best way to do this is focus on using grid lines and outlines. So what outlines does, it kind of just makes your logo in like a gray kind of transparent color, allows you to like see errors easier. And grid lines allows you to identify any weird vector lines that you could have um, missed or made a mistake on. You can also spot errors with anchors and handles, but for this case, we're gonna use um, a typical example using grid lines. So for this, I'm going to select outlines and grid lines and if we click generate you can see everything looks perfect perfect grids um, there's just one issue and that issue is when you zoom in you can kind of see this weird diagonal grid line and that's just a clear error so to identify this and to like um, find out what's going on you can just zoom in to the intersection and you can see it, the problem kind of starts from here. So what we can do is if you just press Command or Control Y, you can see the outlines of everything. So you know that the error stems from this not being all the way there. You can see this issue here. So we can do Command O and you can just do um, undo. And now what I simply want to do is just Every logo depends, every logo is different on how you fix the error, but this is like a common error in logos that you can identify with the grid lines. So now when you do this, just zoom back out and you can click generate once again, and you can see you have no weird grid line um, issues. So that's how you use Logo Grid Generator version one. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. You can also go to the support page, um, which also has a submission form um, for any issues you have. Um, feel free to let us know um, how it goes and enjoy.